Okay, so um, this uh, this tutorial is to show you how to uh, modulate um, a monophonic uh, synthesizer parameter, which we've just got running here. This is a single note, and we want to modulate that with um, the audio signal um, from another from another track. And I'll just show you what happens here. Um, let me open up the synth. There we go. And uh, this is the parameter that we that's going to be modulated. Open your mind. And you'll see that as the voiceover comes in, open your, open mind. your mind. It's the open your mind signal that's actually changing the mind. level of that of that cutoff. Yeah. Open your mind. And it's also changing the sound open of the uh, of the synth. So we've got the, the synths coming in. Open your mind. Open your mind. And just to show you um, what Open effect that has mind. when we remove when we remove that. Um, Open your mind. That's what it would sound like when it's not being modulated. Open your mind. Open your and mind. And I reintroduce the modulation. Open your mind. There we go. That's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, in track one. We've got a, a vocal uh, wow signal coming in. This is where the where the guy says, "Open your mind." Okay, it could actually be any kind of uh, could actually be any kind of signal here. Um, and in track two, we've got a, a single uh, MIDI note just played over uh, an eight-bar loop. Um, sorry, a two-bar loop, um, and that's not particularly musical. It's just here to demonstrate the effect. So. First thing we need to do is we go into our I/O, our input output of track one. Um, obviously, it, it doesn't have to be track one, but um, it's the uh, the I/O of the uh, of what you want to uh, be the modulating signal. And you need to add a new send, and we want to send the signal from this track to track one. Tra sorry, to track two. There we go, and that's all we need to do there. Then we go into track two and we go into our IO and you should be able to see that it's receiving from track one which is uh, just dandy. The thing we need to change here is this one here so we need to change um, it from uh, channels one and two to receiving channels three slash four and that's that done. Okay now you may have, yeah, I showed you earlier that the uh, the synth uh, we're using in in this particular instance is uh, it's the Adventus. It could be anything, and the the parameter we're going to modulate is this uh, is this one here, the cutoff. Okay. Uh, like I say, we could uh, could could do this on any uh, VST synth and also on on any parameter. The way we do that, we go into the envelope. Now, in this screen, it presents us with all the parameters of our soft synth that we can um, adjust that are open to us to modulate. Um, I'm going to go in here, and this is the one filter cutoff. That's the one I want to modulate. So I'm going to click that there, and um, I'm just going to go and uh, go ahead and click the others like I normally do, because then it shows it makes them visible on the screen. Okay. Now you can see a couple of extra things have popped up here. One is a visual rep representation of that parameter, and there's another one down here. And this opens up our um, screen. This is called parameter modulation. Um, we go in there. Now, make sure this this tick box is um, is ticked. Uh, enable parameter modulation, which is what we're trying to do. Okay, and. We want the control signal to be our audio control signal, which is the which is the signal coming in from track one, the uh, the, the the male voiceover. And we want it to listen to um, channels three and four. Okay, there we go. Now, hopefully, this should um, this should show us that it's working. So when I press press play, let's see what happens. Open your mind. Good. Okay. Now you can you Open might be able to see here. Mind. As the voiceover says, "Open your mind." Open your mind. I don't know if you can get the resolution, but you've got a little expanding box Open your here mind. Um, that kind of 
shoots up just a tiny Open bit your when mind. it starts to speak. Now we can change the Open your mind. Using these here, we can just make that have quite a bit of difference. Open actually. your mind. Um, Open your mind. Actually, let me just stop that. Open your mind. I'll pause that. I'll close that down. Um, because what you've got there is is that signal is is modulating from the zero level of the filter. Now, if we go in here, okay, and raise that base level of that filter up to about a midpoint. Okay, we might see something different happening. There we go. You can see the filter now is starting from a, from an approximate. Open your mind. Put it right there at the midpoint. It's starting from a midpoint. Open your mind. Yeah, it's only moving a tiny bit. Open your mind. Now it's not moving as much as we want. So what we do? We go back into uh, parameter modulation. Okay, and let's just using a few of these. Um, parameters here we can change the attack time so it has a very quick effect on it you know, change the release time similarly we can have change the minimum volume down and maximum volume up a bit strength we don't need too much strength um, I'm going to center it around that point I think let's see what happens now open your mind there we go open your mind so when the voiceover comes in you can see it has a much greater open effect now mind. on our parameter it's shooting it right up Open your mind. Yeah, and if we if we if we remove the audio Open control signal, we'll see what effect it's it, the difference it's having on Open the uh, on the monophonic signal. I'm going to take that out completely. Open your mind. Yeah. Open your so mind. So at the moment, the, the monophonic signal is just doing the same thing. Open your so we'll mind. Reintroduce the uh, the audio signal having a modulation Open effect. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. There we go.